What's up, guys? Welcome back to Figuring It Out Podcast. My name is Fedor, and on my left, the stunning braids done greatly. <laughs> Skin is shining. Your name is Victoria. Today, we have another podcast, so let's get comfortable and uh, go into our corners of this couch. I want to be close to you. You can be close to me in spirit. <laughs> okay. Um, so, today, Victoria wants to talk about cancel culture. And she said, yeah. well, why don't we bring it up to the podcast? Because we've been talking about that in our, you know, just regular conversation yeah. between me and you. And we thought that we had some good points that we wanted to share. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though, who are we to talk about cancel culture like that? We haven't been canceled at all. Yeah. We don't, don't know any people. We kind of maybe a little bit are scared that it's going to reach us. Yeah. God forbid for whatever we say. You know. Yeah, it's ridiculous that even... I'm thinking about the topic, trying to tiptoe around, tip-toe around it, like F sensitive that. Sensitive subjects. Yeah, F that. I feel like nowadays, F cancel culture. Nobody can say their opinion. Everybody thinks that they're right. right. It's just insane. Like, it just bothers me. So that's why we're talking about it today. <laughs> and even thinking about this topic today, I was thinking, what can we even say about cancel culture? Who are we to talk about it, really? We're not on the big stage or anything like that. But I, like you mentioned, whenever we talk about certain things... We're trying to tiptoe around the sensitive things to say and you know it's i want to talk about it and make my points because i think uh, you know i have some good ones to say yeah i think you definitely do and let's get into it you start honey okay all right you're, you're <laughs> over the whole intro right now. i'm over the whole intro <laughs> i um am a hundred percent against cancel culture and against the fact that uh you can say one thing and then your whole career, your whole life is just out the window. I get the point of it is that you don't want that influence or that person with that certain point of view to influence others having been in a position of like, you know, influence. They can influence that that thinking onto others so that it can spiral out out of control and become a dangerous thing. I get the point of it, right? But also, who is to say and judge what is the right opinion and what is the wrong exactly. opinion? Exactly. Who is mm-hmm. to say that my point of view is right and yours is wrong? Mm-hmm. Who is the judge here? Nobody Nobody can really do that. Of course, with certain things like when it's legal versus illegal, we have the court system for that. But when it's social values, who is to really tell if I am supposed to say certain words or, or, or I cannot say certain words? Who is to say that I can talk about, I cannot take one position versus the other, yes. right? And that's what my main concern with it is, is that certain people or group of people in different, of course, issues, they take the responsibility onto themselves to judge and cast judgment onto others when most of the time it's done 100% anonymously. Right. It's people in the comments being enraged on Reddit on Instagram, on other platforms, when it's anonymous. We cannot go and check that person who is v- voting for or trying to push that cancel cancel of some person forward. We cannot go and check them if they have done a similar thing, mm-hmm. right? So that's that's my, my, my side. Yeah, no, it bothers me so much because you guys know I come from LA and I feel like in bigger cities that's where it's heightened because of Hollywood Mm -hmm. and because I do have friends in the industry Mm -hmm. and I think it's freaking ridiculous that if somebody takes a different political opinion from yours that you need to cancel them or you need to bully them online Mm -hmm. or literally just bully them so much into silence I think it's ridiculous and Mm -hmm. I think that more people need to talk about it because it is people at home behind the screens miserable with their life that are the ones yeah. coming on commenting on the specific topic wishing that they were the person yes. or trying to what i also don't like is journalists or um interviewers who only try to take down the person so they could be the person that yep. canceled them like it's a whole circle like do you get what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's it's now a, a heroic Heroic, how do you say that word? Heroic, heroic. yeah, you have heroic it. act to do that mm-hmm. to tear somebody down. Since when has it been really of any value that oh I cancel him? Can you imagine that? Pat on, pat me on the back. Yeah. You need to accomplish something of your own to be proud of versus you tearing somebody else down and that's some, that's something to be proud to of. To get your way to the top. To get like, your way to the top, 
top to get attention that you probably never got before any other way and all of that and i i guess an example of that uh, kind of similar to it is um johnny depp's story Oh, y'all, 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 y'all. What's her name? Y'all, y'all. What's her name, Haley? I don't even know her freaking... Um, Ashley? Well, hold I, up, hold up. Anyway. What is her name? What is her name? What is her name? I, I can look it Johnny. up. Amber Amber Amber, 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 Amber. See, I was close. Ashley, Ashley. Yeah, let me see. What's... Uh, go ahead and talk. Okay, I just... Yeah, that's it. We were actually talking about this topic a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I was just so, so angry because so many people, first of all... Usually Amber you can't, Heard. Amber okay. Heard. The people that don't know the person are the main ones saying, oh, he did it. Oh, he did it. Oh, he beat mm -hmm. her. And I don't know. I I just had this feeling like after doing some research about it, after hearing all of his ex-wives say like... Mm -hmm. he and never, daughter speaking up as daughter well, Daughter right? speaking. All the women in his life saying like he did nothing to me. And I've right. never not once in my life when it was this kind of story. Right. Heard someone's, all of the exes, everyone come to his defense saying he's not right. that type of person. Right. So it's just crazy how they did cancel him. The public, they completed their job with canceling them and now realizing that he never laid a finger on her. So th this whole thing <laughs> is just freaking sick. Yep. People just are waiting. I mean, people have always waited for other people's downfalls. Yeah. But I feel like the difference from like the 2000s and the 90s when we were growing up is you say anything and then like yeah. you kind of just face the consequences a little bit. Like yeah. people call you out and say, I don't agree with that. F you and keep it moving. Yeah. Now it's F you. I'm finding where you live. I'm putting your address yeah. online. We're going to cancel and you further. Th they are tarnishing other people's reputation and whole careers. Johnny Depp has not worked for the whole time of that trial, right? The whole time. So they I just took looked him it out up. of the movies. I just looked it up. That whole, they got divorced or separated in 2017. So it's been four years now that he hasn't worked. And so you take in a person's bread or money making, you know, way of, way of making a living. Right. Away from the person. When in, in actuality, he was never guilty. He was, <laughs> he never did anything to deserve that. And canceling someone without even the whole proof or proving that he was actually wrong. Just the idea that he might be right. scared some some networks, some people hiring him. I'm sure that he probably could have could have acted uh, and could have been hired for a job if that wasn't going on for oh, four years. For sure. And the fact that everybody now is finding out that she outright lied. Right. Like you guys look up the story. It's yeah. it's insane. It just breaks my heart because it just makes me think of the thousands of other people that yeah. guy, girl, whatever, that are taking advantage of, of other people. Of other people. And it's just a circle that keeps going and only right. a few people are talking about it that it has to stop. Right. It has to come to an end. And we had a similar issue within our family circle that, that has happened that somebody lied on them to, to cancel them and to tarnish their reputation as well, which was also not true at all. And that is just terrible because we experienced that firsthand. We saw how that how that affected a person, you know. But especially with Johnny Depp's situation, it's just to put put it back to the cancel culture thing. Um, in, in actuality, he never did anything. It's a whole different topic to talk about that she lied on him to tarnish his reputation. Right. But the cancel culture is that the people took that upon themselves, right? To whoever did that, whoever, whoever. the anonymous group did yeah. that, you know, to tarnish him for what? What's the what's the outcome of that? What what are you getting as a person, really? And I think even to play the devil's advocate, right? So, of course, they canceled Johnny Depp. And now everybody's moving to his defense. The same people that canceled him are moving to his defense to yeah. cancel her. It's the same sickness. Right. She's whatever. Might need help, like, mentally. But I also feel like... It's a whole different conversation about her. Right, and but why would you do that she shouldn't person? be canceled either. No. Yes, she did. Guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan. At all whatsoever. Right, right. But to cancel, like, it just makes to me... To not allow her to be on the screen ever again, I think that's 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 a problem. It's not about who is wrong and who is right. The, the issue is not about the right people should be working and the wrong people shouldn't be working. Right. It's not about that. It's about that the wrong people should be working as well. Because there is her audience that's going to watch her, that's going to follow her, that is still believing her in whatever she said and maybe given her power and are inspired by her 
It's not about always having the right content out there or the right movies, the right shows, the right podcast, the right music. It's not about that. It's about having the variety of things and allowing people to express themselves and watch whatever they want to watch, listen to whoever they want to listen to. Exactly. You know? And um, I kind of disagree with your, well, I, I agree, but saying that, of course, she's going to need consequences. Like, she lied yeah, under she no, lied under oath. Legal, legal, consequences legal consequences should be applied. Yeah. I'm not saying that if you do wrong, you should be, you know, yeah, set free. Okay. I'm not it talking like about that. that. No, no, no. Okay. It's, not, it's not about that. I'm saying that she should face whatever consequences she's facing, right? Right. Legal whether that be the, so, the social, uh, you know, what is it called? Um, I guess, not rage, but whoever. Okay, in the public eye, she's going to be lower now. Yeah. And that's what she deserves. Yeah, that's what she deserves. Right? But it's not about... It. What I'm saying is she should get the consequences, but not be canceled 100%, 100%. I agree. I don't think it doesn't matter if you are the hero or the villain. At the yeah. end of the day, you should not cancel people. It's freaking sick. Say if 10, 15 years from now, hopefully this is the case. She becomes a better person. She gets the help that she needs. Right. She, you know, figures out why she even lied in the first place right. or whatever. Hopefully. We can only hope for that. Yeah. But you just cancel. See, that's why I think suicide is high. Like even, okay, mm. I'm about to bring up the Dave Chappelle topic. Okay. I know this is a little sensitive for a lot of people, but... People are trying to cancel him and it's making me sick. It's yeah. making me sick because did you really listen to what he was yeah. saying in the special? But, uh, yeah. It's just, oh. I, I'm sure that um, the cancel whole movement of Dave Chappelle, for example, right? With his special when he was talking about, you know, LGBTQ community, all of that. Whatever points he made, people are, uh, you know, kind of uh, having the backlash right now out there that he shouldn't be saying these things. That it's a sensitive thing and all of that. But... His motives were never to hurt anyone. Right. It might have hurt someone, but they are not looking at the deeper picture, at, at the bigger picture of what he is, or the point he's trying to make. Right. And the reason why, we, we need to understand the reason why of that, you know, why people upset. Is it because it's, it, it became valuable to be upset these days? Right. Did, and did, did it become like uh, you get some social points for being a victim now? No, honestly, I hate to say this. Put in the comments down below your thoughts on like. Oh, of course. What we're, what are we talking about? If you can can put like a timestamp on what you're commenting on, I think that would be great too. Because we're making so many different points. If you put a timestamp to your comment, to, so we can see, others can see what you're talking and commenting on, that'd be great. I think. Yeah, that'll be awesome because. Whew, I hate to say this, but after what's been going on in society today. Where everybody's trying to cancel everyone, it in this time now, it, you are popular by becoming a victim. Sadly. It's so sad. Like, the victim gets the most attention. Yeah. And I'm I'm even talking about like even the suicide, mm -hmm. you know, That's aspect. What you're talking about, yeah. yeah, I'm talking about the suicide aspect and what happened when he's speaking about the uh, woman Daphne who took mm -hmm. her life and putting he just how he told the story like i was just yeah. so shook right. I, I, I was just like yeah. shook to my core by the end yeah. of it like wow people really need to watch this and people really need to wake up that yeah. he is talking about cancel culture and he's literally canceling himself like right. <laughs> yes and and, and and the point was uh in the in that special was that she defended dave Chappelle on his previous uh, special and right. people took her down and, and people started to become mean and negative because they, she went against them and she yeah at the, at the end she took her life who who is to say that that was because of them but like he they've mentioned as well is that it sure it surely didn't help no the situation it absolutely didn't help the situation and it just makes me think about um I know people who have taken their life personally right. and someone recent that I know um, also took their life and right. it's just become this thing where no one, every everyone is just kind of talking about it but not really addressing the problem right. and I feel like Dave and only a few other comedians or right. people in the industry are addressing the cancel mm -hmm. culture problem and yeah. 
that that's yeah. that's where it needs yeah. to start. And maybe our topic, our talk is important as well because you don't have to be at the very top to talk about it. We see from the side yeah. angles, you know, people just simply being upset with someone, and then that takes their whole. I can imagine myself right now, right? Yeah. If I and I'm nowhere near that level of of people who are out there, right? If I get my be fluent stuff canceled, right? If I yeah. whatever I say, they say, "Are you canceled?" and then whatever they take my be fluent from me. I am be fluent, you know. I work for be fluent. This is what I am. Like I'm a teacher and all of that. If you take that away from me, I I was talking to my friends about that. What would I do if I didn't have be fluent? If I couldn't teach languages, I couldn't think of anything. Like I couldn't right. think of any other passion that I would put myself into or, or dedicate my my whole life to same goes for all other people they're in their 40s 50s 50s they've been doing that for 20 plus years right, right. and they don't take that away from them they don't know what to do outside of it that's who they are they are the comedian they are the actor yeah. the actor and when you take that away from them you're taking their whole identity from them mm-hmm. and that's just yeah, not it's, right. it's sick. It's not right. And I feel like cancel culture is literally the biggest bully in society today. I agree. It's a group of people that are behind their computers that yeah. don't really want to show their face. They need to come out with a show of um, oh. exposing like exposing cyber the, bullying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, and cancel or people. Like, you, yeah. know, you know what's crazy is that a few people did that actually. Uh, There's a Russian Ooh. actress. Um, I forget her name, but she... She's she's huge, like 10 million followers on Instagram, yeah. right? And a few posts of her, what she did was she took a screenshot of the comment of the person commenting under her photos, yeah. right? Something super mean, extremely mean. Yeah. But it's Instagram, right? You have your own personal uh, profile. She went on their profile. That's a mother of two kids with a whole wife, uh, with a whole husband. They have like this, these wonderful pictures, right? Yeah. And she put that comment the the carousel thing that just swiped the, yeah. and then their photo with their with their family and she put oh uh, nice to hear your thoughts Svetlana or whatever her <laughs> name is right I see you wanted the picture with your kids so she put her on display yeah. you're being mean and people need to know about that and that's she gets that probably every single day every single but I day. think that that was clever with what she did and that's Instagram when you can identify people right when you go on YouTube when you go on other comment section typically is just simply anonymous exactly twitter being a prime example of that and she that actress put them on blast in front of everyone to give an example that you should be doing this because right. you're also a person would you like that to be done to you right for anything that you do with the cancel culture unfortunately they don't lose anything if a person gets canceled hey hooray we won if he doesn't they don't lose there's no sacrifice that they're taking Mm-hmm. They don't put their identity on the line. They don't, they don't, they don't risk anything. Mm-hmm. Now, if you were to come out and say, okay, I want to take him down. If you fight in court, you can lose money. You can lose your, your trustworthiness, right? You can lose something. With a cancel culture, you're behind the screen. You can never lose anything. Right. And so you're going so ruthlessly at them. Because there's no there's nothing pushback. To lose. There's, there's no, no pushback. Con- there's no counter counter action to that. You're in your comfortable home. Nobody's gonna come and find you. Yeah. Like it's it's just so disgusting and so sad. And yeah, man. I feel like even to move a little bit out of cancel culture and to talk about um kind of this freedom of speech as well that I feel like oh, is slowly yeah. being taken away because of cancel culture. Like I agree. it's even it was so scary for me. Remember when we were living in America yeah. and I think um they canceled the president at the time off of Oh <laughs> they didn't cancel but but they suspended his account. Yeah, and it was just scary for me because if they can do that, nobody is safe. To the president, guys, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Best believe I'm right. not a fan. But, but there are people who are a fan of him. There are people who support him. Yeah. And for the president to not even be safe really messed with right. my head the wrong way. Because yeah. imagine an average person. Like he's supposed yeah. to be the top person. Even though, you know, he's hated. We're not fans right. at all. We do not support. But to take his freedom of speech away yeah. was ve- was just a wake up call for yeah. me. I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa! This was supposed to be, you know, 
land of the free. You yeah. can say what you, whatever you want. What happened to the 2000s? You can say F this, F that. And then there's not yeah. really any backlash. People let it roll off of their shoulder. But everybody's so freaking sensitive and everybody's so freaking triggered now. Right. It's, it's <laughs> sick. Of course, everybody has triggers. I have triggers. Right. But I'm not going to go and say, oh, you're triggering me now. I don't want to hear yeah. this. Or I'm going to go to the and, other room. You know you know what? And that's a great point. If you are triggered, you go in the other room. You don't get triggered and you say, you leave now. Right. And that's what's happening. Yeah. I 100% agree with you. And my only question to those who want to cancel other people, mm-hmm. clearly there's a demand for that person. Clearly, if he's in a position where he is, there is a reason for that. Because people watch, listen to, support them. Mm-hmm. And if you say cancel him, you discard those millions of people and their opinion for your opinion. And I'm sure, 100% sure, that those who are trying to cancel people, their group is tiny compared yeah. to those who watch and enjoy that person. Right? right? And so that tiny group of people makes other people inconvenienced for doing that. If you don't like a person, how about you just don't watch them, don't don't support them, and if you don't like them, do not do not ever buy their. If you're okay, this is my thing, right? If you are, if you so don't like Dave Chappelle and all the, and all people that, that you don't don't like at all. Dave Chappelle, Trump, who, the list who, goes who, on. Whoever it is, why are you watching their special just to hate on them, just to find something there? He, if you find something that you don't like. Stop watching. Maybe request a refund. You can do that if if a lot more and more people start not to like that person, people will pay them less, and he's gonna slowly start moving away. But if he is at the top, the only thing you can do to fight that is to enforce your opinion onto so many other millions of people that it's just simply it's just simply toxic. I think. Yeah, that's what people are doing. They're forcing their opinions on other yeah. people, and it's sad that like we have friends that are different from us. Politically, mentally, like yeah. they their views are so different, but I'm not gonna step on them and say, "Oh, yeah. f your views." Let me shove my views down your throat. And f you as right. a whole person, just yeah. because they have one view <laughs> that is different from mine. My best friends in certain things that you would you know think that they're pretty influential, we're different in those views, but that's what makes them my friends because I can listen to their counter counter arguments to what I say. Yeah. And maybe hear the other side of things and maybe, you know, pay, pay a little bit closer attention to that and get on the other side and change as a person. Maybe they're right. But if I come in as a person thinking, oh, my point of view is is the one. I cannot grow. I cannot get on the other side of things. That's how you grow. You're learning something new and maybe you are changing as a person. I'm sure that you have in your life some people that you saw them, you talked to them. And your whole perspective changed. Definitely, right? definitely. And everybody who's watching this right now as well. Yeah. And if your only views are the only w- ones that are right, then what kind of society are we going to be living in? It, Everybody's going to be uniformed, thinking the same. And that's what's that. I think, honestly, guys, if I'm going to be real right now, right. that is my worst fear. Yeah, that I agree. Mine too. That like 30 years, 40 years from now, you know, it's going to be like way back then, yeah, way yeah, yeah. back in the past. Everybody thinks the same. The dictator's going to um, tell you what that's to what think. That's kind of what, That's, yes, that's what I feel in my soul, praying that, you know, we never get yeah. there. But the dictator's going to tell you when to eat, what mm-hmm. to wear. And listening to Yomi Park uh, on Joe Rogan's podcast about, mm. she's from North Korea, right, who came out of it and now she's in the States. Yeah, I forgot about her, that. Her point, of course... That's only a small part of her podcast when she's talking about America now, not about her North Korean experience. When she's talking about that, when I was at the university, I had a, she, she had a idea or she had a point of view. And then the professor told her that she was wrong, that her point of view was wrong and she should, and she was brainwashed. She from, she's from North Korea, where brainwashing is at its finest, <laughs> at its 100%. And she was brainwashed into think, in thinking that if a man opens a door, she's, he is being polite. When she was told that he's being toxic mascul- masculine and all of that. She, the professor said, 
a man opening the door for you, that's not how it should be. That's toxic masculinity. masculinity. That's what she said. Okay. And I, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. And the point is, it's a professor. At the university, the best thing you can give as a professor is to teach a person how to think critically, how to think for themselves and get their own ideas out. What did you say? Think for what? For themselves. For themselves. Okay. <laughs> but when you enforcing your your agenda agenda and your perception of the world onto a student, a growing person who maybe hasn't been able to think critically for themselves yet, and you are enforcing that you're supposed to think like that. That's you are limiting their potential into becoming the next genius. You are making them into. A good worker. You're supposed to do this and, and only think this. Yes, we can teach people how to work and how to do things, but how to think. And it's sad because even when I think about our college experience, I had at least two professors that even did that to me. That yeah. in order, I realized early on, in order for me to pro pass a class, I have to... Agree with them. Agree with them. And it was just so freaking sick. That I didn't even realize I had yeah. that experience until I listened to the podcast that you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, they we are slowly becoming, and I hope that this will, will get reversed. I <sighs> hope that this trend of people speaking out about it will reverse the trend. Is that the difference in ideas is what is driving the progress? Mm -hmm. If we only teach and educate people to be cookie cutter people. We're, never, we're not going to have people like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Albert Einstein, whoever are the greatest people who came up with things that were just simply out of everybody's imagination. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who are going to drive the progress of us as humanity. As humanity. And if you're educating people to be one, two, three, copy, paste, copy, paste, we're not going to have that. We're going to have, like you, said, a, like you said, a dictatorship. When we only are allowed to think, to say, to yeah. do things that were pre-approved. Yeah. And it's sad to say, of course, as being in Russia right now, a little bit of, of USSR kind of regime, if you say something against the common agenda of the party, right. you might have gotten executed. Right. Back then. Back then. Russia, I feel like, has evolved so much from that. Mm -hmm. But to just think like, okay, you know... It, it that, just it, it trace back to that. Yeah, and I haven't been in Russia long enough to see if that's where you know mm -hmm. Russia is going. But I'm just speaking about my own experience of growing up in America, yeah. um, with just everything that has been happening. And I think that's just my worst fear. And I pray that's the worst fear, yeah, the worst fear in the world. And I pray that people you, people will just wake up and realize that it's important to embrace. The different kind of opinions yeah. and to not stomp on those people mm -hmm. because people are going to continue to commit suicide kill other people like it's yeah. going to just be for chaos. ideology for, uh, exactly yeah <sighs> that's really it yeah right? i know we might get some hate for this video but and that's exactly why we're making it oh <laughs> <laughs> it's because even though and that's the exact point if we're going to get hate for this and say cancel them <laughs> that's the exact point that we're trying to make Honestly. Yeah, yeah. No, but um, I think this is not um, a video to put anyone down. This is a video to provoke your thoughts and your own uh, thinking about the topic, about the topic of uh, freedom of speech, freedom of creation, freedom of uh, activity, freedom of opinion. And that's what we need to strive for. Strive exactly, to. exactly. As a people as each other when you say oh he did this he's a terrible person well think about blame the action not the person right think about maybe they've done a wrong thing we've all done wrong in our lives i've i've stolen things from the store does that make me a thief not recently come on no, now I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> i have stolen things from the store as a young kid does that make me a thief? Did I grow up to be a thief? No. No. I have realized that that's a wrong action. I've lied to people. Sometimes still do. But I've lied to people when it would hurt them. I've learned from my mistakes. And I don't lie anymore. You know? And you can grow to, to become a better person through your mistakes. If you make a mistake, there should be some sort of redemption opportunity. There has to be. And that's what I also think. There has to be some redemption opportunity. Because 
we're very spiritual people, so right. it just makes me think at the end of the day, if there's no redemption at the end of the day, why are we on this earth? Right. What are we living for? Like, where is yeah. there to go after this when yeah. we're in the ground? We all live our lives through mistakes. We learn through mistakes. We live each year making mistakes. We learn that, that we were wrong and then we grow from it. You know, if everyone had their life figured out from the day they were born, then there'll be a boring life, you know? So and to boring. cancel someone just for their mistakes... That's a part of, part of us as people, as a growing people. You know, we learn from mistakes. And that's why the world has evolved so much. Imagine yeah. if we ne- if no one has ever uh, learned from their mistakes. Where would yeah. we be? Like, yeah. come on, people. Like, just think about this. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, that's all I have to say on yeah. the topic. Me would too. you have anything else? No. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for listening to this podcast. We hope to see you in the next one. And keep on watching Living Life with the Sharons podcast. What? Figuring it out podcast. Living Life with the Sharons uh, YouTube channel. We are in Russia talking about Russian experience and sharing you guys some of the Russian experience as well. So yes. hopefully you can uh, check out our videos. And uh, we'll see you next time. And join our membership program right under this video on YouTube. Uh, just so we can uh, have this you know, channel yes not even just to have the channel going y'all somebody messaged me about the red dot in the camera and how could he support so oh. <laughs> I couldn't the red dot is in the lens so i cannot i was Wait, trying to rub the, the whole know. thing trying to get it out it we gotta get a new camera y'all so please support us and put join <laughs> right here and also comment your thoughts because we want to yeah. embrace all of your thoughts all of your opinions and mm-hmm. what you have to say on this topic and we'll That's see you all. next time see you next time Paka, paka. Paka. Great. See ya.